the praise I give to you, Lord. All the praise I give to you, Lord. All praise I give to you, Lord. I give to you, Lord. I give to you, Lord. All the praise I give to you, Lord. I give to you, Lord. I give to you, Lord. All the
Jesus is dancing in the house. Come on, give it to God. the Lord. The first Bible reading for this wonderful occasion is taken from Second Chronicles chapter number 6. We are reading from verse number 4 through I mean, verse number 1 through 4 and verse number 14. Second Chronicles chapter 6 1 to 4 and 14. Then said Solomon, The Lord has said that he would dwell in the thick darkness. But I have built an house of habitation for thee, and a place for thy dwelling forever. And the king turned his face and blessed the whole congregation of Israel. And all the congregation of Israel stood, and he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who art with his hands, fulfill that which he spake with his mouth to my father David, saying, Verse 14. And said, O Lord God of Israel, there is no God like thee in heaven, nor in the earth, which keepeth covenant, and sheweth mercy unto thy servants, that walk before thee with all their hearts. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word in Jesus' name. The second Bible reading shall be taken from the book of Second Chronicle, chapter 6, verses 17 through 20, and 39 through 41. Second King, chapter 6, verses 17 through 20, and 39 through 41. I'm reading from New Living Translation. Now, O Lord, God of Israel, fulfill this promise to your servant, David. But will God really live on earth among people? Why even the highest heavens cannot contain you? How much less this temple I have built? Nevertheless, listen to my prayer and my plea. O Lord, my God, hear the cry of the prayer that your servant is making to you. May you watch over this temple day and night, this place where you have said you will put your name. May you always hear the prayers 
I make toward this place. 39 through 41. Then hear their prayers and their petitions from heaven where you live and uphold their cause. Forgive your people who have sinned against you. Oh my God, may your eyes be open and your ears attentive to all the prayers made to you in this place. And now arise, O Lord God, and enter your resting place, along with the ark, the symbol of your power. May your priests, O Lord God, be clothed with all salvation. May your royal servant rejoice in your goodness. May God bless his reading and listening in Jesus' name. I want to thank God for a day like this. I want to thank God for making it possible for this day to come to pass. My assignment here this moment is to welcome our guest to this important occasion. And I don't want to spend a lot of time on that so i'm going to be very brief but it's important for us to know who is in the house because today is a day we're going to have a lot of guests here in this place our father the creator of heaven and earth the almighty god is not a guest is in the house jesus is in the house i thought you would say better amen if you are a servant of the lord jesus you know that wherever he is is not a guest um people make that mistake and call him unseen guest in their house he is a guest i mean he's not a guest he's a seen person not unseen guest amen so we recognize the presence of our lord jesus and we also want to recognize the presence of our general vassia in absentia pastor Dr. Elijah Oludele Abino is not here, but he's, he's here. His spirit is here. His heart is here. Brothers and sisters, let us shout hallelujah. I believe our Father and the Lord is watching us right now. It is 6 a.m. in America, but he is watching. He is awake, I know. So we want to recognize our Father, the Lord, the General Vasia. And next to him is the Deputy General Vasia of this great mission, who is the one representing our General Vasia today, Pastor Professor S. O. Owola. Shall we welcome him? Shall we rise up and say, Welcome, Daddy? Let the whole church welcome. Amen. Daddy, you are welcome. We are glad to see you. The Lord will give you long life, and the anointing of God will be upon you today in the way we have never seen it before. You are welcome, sir. You may be seated. Thank you. We are blessed to have in the house today as our guest speaker. The general overseer of the First Care Gospel Church, Nigeria. Yeah. 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 Reverend Felix Medioye, you are welcome, sir. It's good to see you. You are welcome, sir. God bless you, Daddy. We are blessed to see you and to be able to hear from you today. We have been waiting for this day, and we are glad the Lord brought you here. You are welcome, sir. God bless you. Let's welcome you again, everybody. Welcome. Our guest speaker, the general vice of the first guy, gospel church, Nigeria. Welcome, sir. You may be seated. Thank you. One, two. Hello, one, two, testing. We have in the house also our own general secretary, the general secretary of this mission, our father in the Lord, a man who whose heart is always everywhere, wanting to know what is going on concerning the progress of the church 
especially Region 1. Hello, it is my pleasure to welcome to this place today Pastor E. Ade Ojo. I wanted to say Pastor Professor. <laughs> I, I, don't want to be, I don't want to be penalized, Pastor Komalei. <laughs> Daddy, you are welcome to this place. You are a guest, you are also a host. I know that. Um, we also have in the house our Assistant General Vashia, Training and Special Duties, Pastor C. Owonivo. Let us welcome him to the house. That is the first regional pastor for Lagos. He used to be called Arusi One. Baba, you are welcome. God bless you. And uh, we also have the AGO. Minister's Welfare, Pastor H.I.A. Oluwa Sheye. Let us welcome my father in the Lord. He used to be our original pastor, and this is his territory. Daddy, you are welcome. It's a pleasure, it's a, it's a thing of joy to have you in the house. We have in the house also the admin officer. Oh, we have a new another assistant general vassia. He's just working. Another general assistant general vassia who used to be our ROC in Lagos. That is assistant general vassia for establishment. Pastor T A Fabo Wale, he is here. Shall we welcome him? Daddy, I welcome. God bless you. God bless you. It's good to see you. And uh, we have in the house. The man who has been moderating this program is the admin officer, Pastora, uh, my good friend, Pastor Evangelist S. O. Okomoleyi, a Kari student at his back. Let's welcome him. Pastor Okomoleyi, you are welcome. Thank you for helping us today in that capacity. We also are blessed today to have in the house so many regional pastors. So many. And uh, I'm going to, uh, all right, I'm going to do it one by one. And uh, maybe when I get to the TPs, we'll do it together because of time. But let me also use this time to introduce the PA, the PA to the General Vassia of the First Care Gospel Church, Reverend Toby Akimbo. Reverend Toby Akimbo, you are welcome to the house. And all the entourage with our General Vassia, we welcome you to. Chapel of Glory, District Equators of Lagos District. God bless you. Uh, before I begin to introduce all the Arupees one by one, I want to welcome the man who keeps the pulse of this mission, the Accountant National, National Accountant, Senior Accountant, Accountant General. Any of those will go for him. <laughs> He's a uh, is a fellow of the Institute of Chartered Accountants in Nigeria, my friend, Pastor S.O. Ade Bayo. You are welcome. You are welcome. It's good to see you. So let me start the, the Arupees one after the other, not in any other, but as they are seated. And I want to start with uh, uh, my friend, who is uh, our neighbor in Lagos, uh, Pastor Peter Awo Dimila. Pastor Peter, you are welcome. Let's welcome him. That's the RP Region 12. And next to him, on that row, is the RP Region 6, Ileife. That place where the Yodudua people started. Pastor, please. Um, Pastor Ladeji, sorry, my, my, my memory failed me. Pastor Ladeji from Region 6, you are welcome. Let's welcome him again. Let's put time together for him. Next to him is the regional pastor for Region 2, who used to be the man from Abelkuta, but now has become a bad man. This is also a member of the National Esco of this mission. Uh, pastor M.O. Ade Ogo, you are welcome, sir. Pastor Ade Ogo, you are welcome. And my neighbor who moved to Abekuta, the regional pastor for Region 7, Pastor 
S O Show. So Let's welcome him. And uh, any other? Oh yeah, the Arupi region eleven from Ibadan, who has also used to be Lagos uh, district pastor. Pastor Kuade, you are welcome. God bless you, sir. Uh, we have also a, a number of IPs in the house, and I will, without partiality, I want to start with for my own IP, the chief, one of the chief hosts of this place. And uh, join me to welcome and also to appreciate one of those who are hosting us today, but also a special person in the house, the inspector pastor for Region 1, that is Pastor Ajayi. B.A. Ajay, let us welcome him. Baba, you are welcome. God bless you. And then uh, we have the IP from Region 2. Am I correct? Yes, because I always, always miss it for Region. Pastor Ayan Wale, Region 2 IP. You are welcome, sir. God bless you. Any other IP in the house? Any other IP? Oh, the IP for Region 12. Our Baba from region 12 let us welcome pastor pa ola soju pa ola soju baba you are welcome it's good to see you you know we are so blessed with babas in this house so many so many uh those of us who are young we are privileged to have babas and i want to tell you that they will live long to continue to serve as babas while we will grow under them i want to introduce all the DPs. Now, permit me to do it this way because if I start one by one, we will take extra 20 minutes. There are so many district pastors in this place. So, um, please, with due respect, all our district pastors in the house, may you please stand for recognition while the church will welcome you with a round of applause. District pastors, please rise up. Let's welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome them. All right. You know what? Keep standing. Keep standing. You are not many. Keep standing. So let me let me introduce you. Since you are not many, we have a pastor. He was a DC pastor standing. That is when we talk about fire on the mountain. Uh, fire for fire. That is a man. Let me introduce you now. Pastor Oderino Femi is from Iwaya. Next to him is the man we call the professor, the pastor, the district pastor of Bariga. Pastor Ayeju Sule, you are welcome. Next to him is Pastor Oluwa Ashe from Alakuko district, you are welcome. Next to him is the engineer, Pastor Tunde Ojo Agege DP, you are welcome. And next to him is the pastor, the teach pastor of Motion District, Pastor Ewen Peters, you are welcome. All right. Now, all the women, all our women leaders, the DP's wife, Arupi's wife, AGO's wife, sorry we may not be able to mention your names. May you please stand up for recognition while the church will welcome you. All our mommies in the Lord, we, re we recognize you. We recognize you. Let's, let's keep clapping. Keep clapping for them. Keep clapping for them. The Lord will give you long life. The Lord will give you good health. You will continue to serve the Lord and be a blessing to His church. You may be seated. Uh, all the ADPs in the house, please stand up for recognition. Assistant district pastors, please rise up. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We, will, we recognize you. And finally, all pastors, all ministers, please rise up and let us welcome you also. Pastors, elders, deacons, shall we rise up? We want to see you. Let us welcome our ministers. Shall we welcome them? Please put your hand together for them. Hallelujah. 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 You are welcome, pastors. God bless you. You may be seated. Now, if there are other guests as they come, we may introduce them. But this is where we're going to stop now. 
and we permit if there is any PFN representative in the house, please let the protocol know you and know that you are in so that we may recognize you. I wish you all God blesses as we continue with this special service. Let somebody say amen to that. Can you say better amen? Thank you very much, good friend. Let's clap for our brother here. He is Pastor Imam T. Oguyemi, the regional pastor, region number one of the Gospel Mission International. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Oh, praise the Lord. Lagos region is one of the very luckiest regions in government. Amen. This is where, I mean, what is happening here today is first of its kind. It's first of its kind. And you are proving that you are region one indeed. Amen. In the house today, this is where we have all the regions, regional pastors who have served in Lagos region, beginning from the traditional region to the present one. All of them in the house together. That shows solidarity, oneness, unity, cohesion, interesting, interestingly admirable. Thank you, thank you, we appreciate you. Praise the Lord. Oh, come on, praise the Lord, somebody. Uh, we're going to take a few things in succession. We're going to take the keynote address by, I don't know, they are calling her, if the regional pastor is the chief host, then the district pastor is the deputy chief host. No be so. So, Deputy Chief Host, D-C-O, Deputy Chief Host, at this age, that is the new title for the man. The, this is pastor, the Deputy Chief Host, is going to give us um, the keynote address, Thank you, and God bless you. You can do better than that if you are clapping for the Lord Jesus Christ you can do better than that amen amen this is the day the Lord has made and we must certainly rejoice and be glad in it I want all of you to laugh Laugh today. Today, the day of laughter. Laugh. I want you to laugh. Oh, some of you cannot laugh. Oh, you need to laugh. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me stand on the existing protocol and proceed in reading the address. I'm indeed excited today. I don't know if you have a surgeon in the house. Some people say if they open your heart, the heart will be red. Mine will be red and red and red. Because this day is a day we've been waiting for. And it's only the Lord that has made it a reality. Praise the name of the Lord. I will start by thanking the Almighty God for making this day possible. We are indeed bold to declare that if it were not the Lord, we would not, and I repeat, we would not have been able to build this house, talk less of dedicating this house today. And one more time, may the name of the Almighty God be praised. Let me hear you shout a big hallelujah. You know what my MC normally says? That hallelujah is not born again. I want you to shout a born again hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I also want to thank the general overseer of this mission, Dr. Abino, for all the support and encouragement he gave to us towards the construction of this project. I know wherever he is today, he is indeed delighted to know that this church, this building, is dedicated today. The journey of this cathedral 
started in 2002 when we purchased the two plot of land here i tell you when we purchased this land they were costing 16 million naira each but if you follow that to price the plots here you'll find they would have doubled that same price and this just in a short period of time and shortly after that in 2012 we commence the construction of this project because the Lord was involved in this project I must say here that we were not stressed at all there was no stress physically no stress financially no stress spiritually and we are indeed grateful to God we didn't come here one day and see white and red cloths here and somebody saying we shouldn't build here not this one this one is for the Lord and I remember when we came here I don't know whether I put in the pictures here there was a day myself and my team we came here with the general overseer this place was like a river and the geo had to fold his trousers I still remember he folded his trousers and he prayed at this at this place while we're building this church we never knew it's going to be a district headquarters of a of a church of the church we actually build it as a local assembly church but while we're working at human being god had his own plans and indeed before the building was co completed a new district i was just uh, an ordinary assembly pastor and i found myself overnight becoming a district pastor it is only the lord that can do all these things the way and manner this church was built and completed with a population we started with about 50 people and and that was all by the time we finished this less more shortly a, a little above 50 people we realized that the number is not the issue when god is involved in a project even a number less than 50 can achieve something bigger than what we have done our vision for this place is that for eternity and forever it will remain the house of god where the holy spirit dwells and that the church will be a center where souls are saved it will be a place where hell is depopulated and where the kingdom of god is enlarged every day our vision is that this place will be a sanctuary where people with diverse problems be their spiritual problems be their physical problems be their financial and whatever problems they have when they come here they will meet the solution provider and the solution provider will bring solution to their problems it is also our earnest prayer that this will not be the last of this kind of project in this district in the first instance our expectation is that shortly after this this day a new and bigger cathedral will be built in this district oh you don't believe that if you believe say better amen because of time in appreciation i mean we are building this project you have so many people indeed this frame or what you call the carcass of this project was constructed by one of our pastors and i will want him to stand for recognition and that's talking about pastor sunday shitu is he here in the house is the engineer that built this house praise the name of the lord but beyond him dr e obina who is the first i mean he was here every day he will come in from america right from the airport he will drive down to this place this place he had true love for this place 
and may his may he continue to show up from glory to glory and the grace of god will be upon his life forever and ever and ever the deputy general overseer is one man that will be calling me at all times he said johnny i just wanted to call, encourage you i want to know how far you have gone and his encouragement was truly refreshing members of the esco i want to thank them the regional pastor is my good friend and uh, i don't know i think we are graduating to become brothers true brothers he has been of tremendous help dr emmanuel Oguyemi and his dear wife and the ip Baba, pastor ajai a wonderful father the building committee was led by our able pastor and i know i've just been told and we sincerely wish that is done also today pastor Allah Lim and his team that will pray for them today and god will always be with them i want them to stand up for recognition team leader pastor Ola Lim is in the house that's the chairman we also have Elder Kelechi Eguzoro, we have uh, Deacon Kolade Adeleye, we have Mrs. Moji Shola Abimbola, and these were the, the core team, and they had all the authorities in the world to co-opt anybody into their group, and I must thank them for a job well done. Members also contributed. Like I said, we didn't have stress of money. In this church, when we need money, we just call for money. And money begins to appear. I remember last Sunday, we had spent so much money and we needed uh, 1. I think we needed 1.4 million. And the committee members were saying, uh, DP, how are we going to raise the money? I said, I know how we're going to raise. They said, how? I said, okay, Brother Tosin, how much are you going to give? He said, ah, is that what you want to do? I said, yes. And you won't believe, before we left that place, we were able to raise 1.4 million. As easy as that. That's how we raise money here. And every member of this church has keyed into that prospect, or that promise, that the way to prosperity is to give. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to thank them very much. Members of the dedication committee, it's been a big task. They were led by the resident pastor, my good friend, Pastor Joseph Odude. Is he here in the house? Odude, please. All of them should stand up. Other members were Ezekiel Amira, Elder Kelechi Eguzoro, he appears in both positions, Thomas Orire, Kolade Adeleye. Fortune Fabo Wale, Emmanuel Agbeni, Oluwa Tosin Falola, Abraham Ashogbong, Stella Noah, Mojishola Abimbola, and all the occulted members. The good Lord will bless them abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. Last but not the least, I thank the members of the Chapel of Glory. In my whole life, I have never seen a group of people that are so pleasant to work with. I tell you, since I came to this church, I have never, I have never, I have not yet, and I don't think I will, have not solved or settled any quarrel. I have not. I have not settled. But I have never seen a group of people that look like a people born by the same mother and the same father of Christian background. I appreciate all of them. The good Lord will bless them. In conclusion, I want to thank the entire guests, particularly our guest of honor, the General Overseer of the Four Square Church, for honoring us today. Sir, the good Lord will bless you. Thank you very much for honoring us. All the days of the, your life, the Lord will honor you. Let me hear you say amen. I pray finally that God will prosper all of us that are here today. And I have a friend here in the house. He's a general overseer of his own church. My good friend, where is he? Emmanuel Oluwadare. Is he here? Has he gone out? Yes. He's a very good friend of mine. He's a general overseer. He looks small, 
but he's a very big man. So you are welcome, Pastor. God bless you. And finally, I want to say as you depart from here, God's glory will be with you, remain permanently with you, and God will bless everybody in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Not born again. God bless you all. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's give a born again clap offering also. According to Dover's principle, born again clap offering. Is that one born again? Are you sure? Come on, put it together to the Lord. Hey, hallelujah. Now, I just feel like making a comment about um, the, our deputy chief host who has just spoke right now, um, Pastor Johnny Udofa. Uh, it's a wonderful gift of the Lord to the Gospel Mission International and to our generation. An institute economist, a highly respected banking practitioner. I'm not using banker, banking practitioner. When you have got to the higher level, you become a practitioner in banking industry. It's a consultant in that realm. A son and anointed minister of God. Uh, on tiring and highly gifted conference speaker. When I guess what to speak, I don't know, the thing keeps on flowing. I don't know why he has been a banker initially. He ought to have been a pastor from the beginning. Or an evangelist of our generation. You are welcome, sister. We appreciate you. You know, according to his name, I learned that the name Udofa means second son in the clan. And um, coincidentally, or by divine arrangement, he's bearing the name John. I know in the principle, in the order of the apostolic uh, order, after Peter, John is the next. So he's second son in the, in the, in the order. <laughs> yeah. And everything is, is true to picture. I mean, we appreciate the grace of God for your life. I can assure you, you have just started, just as job begun with you, greater heights ahead of you in government and the body of Christ. Thank you. We appreciate you. Pastor Johnny Udofa. God bless you. God bless you. The choir will give us their first rendition. After that, the resident pastor, Pastor Odude, will give us the history of the church. Hallelujah, church. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. All right. This
International Chapel of Glory, Lake Lagos. The church, the Gospel Faith Mission International Chapel of Glory, was born out of the vision of our Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of this great church, Pastor Dr. Elijah Oludele Abino. 
I popularly call him the GOC. When he sent out letters in January 2008 to some group of people, mostly the professionals, to join hands and start a branch of government at Lekki in the Tiosa, the Begiluka government. The first meeting with all the brethren invited and those that responded was said on the last Saturday in January 2008 at the Dematuri Assembly. Why the inaugural service was done on the 3rd of February 2008 at Lekki Astoria Hotel, now Lekki Oswald Hotel, Agungi Lekki. The church led by Pastor Dr. John Udova took off with the following families the Udova family, Alim family, Orudi family, Amira family, the Guzoro family, Adi Le family, Abimbola family, Noah family, and other male and female youths. The idea then was to start a church, nurture it to growth with the indigenous, and then revert back to the local churches. While in Lake Astoria Hotel, we started searching for land to buy in order to build our own worship center. But the cost of land was considered very high. The plot of land goes from between 5 million to 10 million, and even then, very scarce. It was in the course of this that we moved to Piccadilly Suits and Hotel Agungi where we eventually got the plot of land after a series of prayer by the church and the intercessory group. As at that time, the plot of land in this area has gone up to between 12 to 18 million per plot. However, through one of us, we are able to get a plot for 16 million and we settled for two plots, costing 32 million. Personally, land around here costs almost double the amount. It was indeed a divine arrangement as we have settled for another land near Adion. But the Lord really help us. All glory to his name. We are actually still working under a seal order. In fact, when we designed this building, it was to be parking under the I mean under the building. It was uh, a building suspended by seal. But how we come about this, nobody ever could explain. What the architectural design was different. From what we have today. The foundation was laid by the Big Daddy, our GO in May 2012. In fact, it has been a pet project of Daddy Geo as he was personally monitoring it with all scheduled visits and phone calls, both within and outside the country. Papa, you are alive today to see your dream and aspiration come to reality. We congratulate you. What we eventually see today was different from our initial design and even the magnitude of the project was surprising us. To those of us who are members of the church, we never thought it this way. Considering our numerical strength, which is just a little above 50, it is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. When the assembly became district headquarters of Lagos in 2011, December, with other seven assemblies, our pastor, Pastor Dr. John Udova, who has been shepherding the assembly became the district pastor until December 2013 when my humble self, Pastor Joseph Odudi was appointed as the resident pastor. With a good cathedral as our permanent church, we are set to extend the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ near and far. We therefore promise the leadership of this great mission that we shall do our best, God helping us. Finally, we thank the Jews especially the National Executive Council members and all the people that has given us support towards the realization of our dream. God bless you all. Shall we give a clap to the Lord? Thank you very much, Pastor Dude, for that um, giving us insight into the history of this church. Amen. And uh, from what you have said, we can guess something very clearly. Do our Father and the Lord, our Papa, Pastor Dr. Elijah Dudabina, is not, is not here personally, but spiritually is here with us. And it's likely that where he is, is watching or seeing what is going on here. Uh, from the history, you can see that we have a leader, a father indeed in government. Our Geo, Papa Abina, is a go getter. I've heard him many years back that even when he was the overseer of Lagos, he was saying, we don't have 
an assembly in Lagos. I was wondering, what is Lagos? If we are in Mushin, we are in Agege, we are in Barika, we don't have assembly in Lagos. Where is Lagos? And today we are in Lagos. Because as long as we are in Leki, already we are already in VI. We are in Ikoji. Yes or no? Pastor Dofa, am I talking your mind? We are already in VI. We are already in Ikoji. By the fact that we are here, we are all over the place. Lagos is already in our hand. Hallelujah. So we thank God for our Papa, the go getter. He's an undefeated or defeatable uh, visionary. When he means a thing, he does it and gives all that it takes to achieve it. Papa is also a positive thinker. And we thank God for his life. And I'm sure we are imbibing his spirit today. And that's why we are here. Uh, we're going to do the very important thing, which is the next thing. Uh, coincidentally, or by divine arrangement, our deputy chief host, who is the pastor, I say he's a banking practitioner. Do you know that the resident pastor is also a banker? I don't know. It's a divine arrangement. Wow, God is doing something here. Maybe very soon, I don't know. Let me leave that to God. Something is coming out of this. Amen. Those of you who think that um, nothing can go out of um, Bethlehem, right now, greater things are coming out. Praise the Lord. We want to welcome our Father and the Lord to do the most important thing for today, which is the dedication of this assembly, the first of its kind in the Gospel Faith Mission International. Join me to welcome our Father and the Lord, the Deputy General of this mission, Pastor Professor Isiwola, for this wondrous and wonderful assignment. Can we rise up? It's the very thing we are here for. You are welcome. Sir. You are already standing. I would have wished you were sitting. Because this, because this man will ask you to stand soon. Can you please sit down? I am packed with emotion. Obviously, because things go according to God's plan. But a lot of times, God's plan differs from man's expectation. God knows all things, and he does all things according to his plan. I'm sure that he's watching us right away, and he's listening to everything that has been said here. We bless God for his vision. We honor God for what God has brought to be through him. And we pray the Lord will continue to help him to propel the church forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, today we are here to witness and celebrate the grace of God that is bestowed on the ministers and members of the Gospel Faith Mission International Chapel of Glory for their generosity to produce a place of worship of this magnitude. This act of commitment is in agreement with a statement of purpose which reads to preach the word of God and bring people into membership of God's family, to teach the word of God, to enhance freedom, promote Christian maturity, and bind the people to God for service, and to live the word of God, to demonstrate the new life in Christ to the world, and ensure security of the believer. When people are one to Christ, they need a place of worship, and the study of the word of God for spiritual development, which is hereby provided by the faithful. This reminds us of the temple, which was built by King Solomon, but was later destroyed by the enemies of Israel, because the people failed to obey the God of the temple. Then, the synagogues followed, replacing the temple. After the exiles, for the same purpose of worship of Jehovah, we are grateful to God for the provision of this place of worship. How can we appreciate God and encourage ourselves for a place like this, so that it will serve the purpose for which it is provided? The following rules and regulations need to be observed in order to produce maximum results as a result of the use of this place. Number one, 
I wish to encourage everyone to surrender yourself unto God. He wants to see you from time to time. Kindly make yourself available for the general services as much as it is humanly possible. Don't leave these seats to be empty. Your presence in the church is an inspiration to the pastor. Number two, as you sit on the chairs, study to know the pattern of the church, your pastor will definitely help you in this regard. Number three, be receptive to the Holy Spirit and do not be critical as you enter this house of God. Face the panorama of real spiritual matter, be receptive to the Holy Spirit. Number four, do not expect the sermon to please you from time to time. No pastor can please every member when he preaches. If he does, he has not faced the reality even in human relations. Jesus commanded that we beware when all men speak well of us. You may sit on your chair expecting the comfort that comes from the message always, but sometimes we need to expect something that will touch us and revive our souls. When the message hits you, as you sit down in your chair listening, it is the Lord sending his message across to you. Number five, give as well as receive. There are many ways you can contribute to the work of God, such as through your tithes, through your offerings to the gospel work, through donation to the congregation at home and abroad, or in the mission fields. There are many people that are willing to hear the gospel. The Lord needs your contribution to go to these countries and places in the world. Number six, tell others what you have heard and seen from this house. Spread the information around. Share with your friends the things you gain from this the service so that they will be strengthened and encouraged to attend service. You will keep the blessings of worship, share them, tell your neighbors what you have received, what you gain, and the reasons why you are always excited to attend church service here. Finally, to make good use of this place, let us make the pledge that these seats will not be empty and that the ones which may be empty today shall be filled with new people on, sitting on them such as invited friends, visitors week after week through our renewed efforts on behalf of our Lord Jesus Christ. We call upon God to hallow this place today where he will manifest his presence and power to save the sinner, to heal the sick, and bless his people who come to worship him in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Everybody say a big amen. amen. We come to the actual, the real act of dedication. You are supposed to respond to these readings. And your response is supposed to have been uh, in the pamphlet before you. It's there on page 12. So let's turn to page 12. As I take the portion that relates to the minister, you will take the portion that relates to the people. Because we have built a sanctuary for the worship of our God and the service of Jesus, his only begotten son, upon the congregation here assembled to now stand for the act of dedication.
not sufficiently indicative that you were not following me. Shall we sit down again? I'm usually a militant in my orientation. And we are soldiers of Christ. As children of the Lord, we are soldiers in the army of the Lord. So we will respond militantly too. So I take that again. Because we have, we have built a sanctuary for the worship of our God, and the service of Jesus, his only begotten son, upon the congregation here, assembled to now stand for the act of dedication. Okay, that's much better. For the preaching of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of the unsaved, for the preaching and the teaching of the word of God, for the edification of the believer, for the nurture and admonition of the young and the children in faith, once delivered unto the saints. For the providing of a church home with a warm spiritual friendly atmosphere where souls may find their every need met in the Lord Jesus Christ who died for the salvation of man. That we may better learn the great principles of sanctification of the home, the sacredness of marriage vows, and the hallowing of all family life. That we may so develop Christian character, exemplifying the teachings of the word of God in our daily lives, thereby making us acceptable and approved citizens of both the kingdom and of the state till the Lord comes. To the preaching of the whole counsel of God, which most certainly includes all those teachings of faith of the churches of God. To the outreach of the church, to the uttermost parts of the world, through vision, giving, and sacrifice making. And gratitude to those uh, to those whose loving service, prayers, and generous giving have made possible funding, growth, and development of this church, and the completion of this sanctuary according to set time. In loving memory of those who have joined the church triumphant. Was who, whose works do follow them. What is the covenant of this standing congregation? Hereby, to the glory of God and the use of men and the blessings of men, on the behalf of the Father and the Lord, the general overseer of this mission, declare this place dedicated today in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we pray? Amen.